Biden earlier this week, taking aim at 50 or 51 companies on the Fortune 500 list that paid no taxes at all for three years. He's now saying it's time for them to pay up and pay their share. Yeah, yeah. what will happen is they won't pay their share. Just like the hedge funds and private equity groups, they don't pay the full taxes. Here's all I say. Go back to the times when Eisenhower. Now, there's a liberal for you, right? You know, a liberal. You know, the tax rate was 90% for the very rich. Yeah, yeah, the Buffets, the Gates, the Bezos. Tax the hell out of them. How many more billions do you need? No, these taxes, when they raise the corporate taxes, they hit the small businesses because the other ones take their stuff off. Sure, they know all the games and how to beat. And Biden, Biden talking about taxes? Oh, where was Biden the senator from? Oh, Delaware. Yeah, Delaware, where you go to, to beat the whole tax game. So all is coming out of his mouth is a lot of baloney. The little people will pay the taxes just like they did. You're not an essential business. Walmart's is essential. Costco is essential. You're not essential. You close down. Oh, you don't have any. Oh, hey, hey, Cuomo, hey, uh, Gavin Newsom, Bruce, Whitless with me, all the rest of you. Um, how come you don't have any capacity regulations in Walmart, but you put them in restaurants? Oh, and how's this a stupidity? When you're sitting down, you don't have to use a mask, but when you stand up, yeah, what if I'm in a wheelchair and I go to take, go to the bathroom? I got to. Go, they're making this stuff up. So going back to Biden, it's BS Biden. They're going to tax him. It's going to hit the, the little people. They're already doing it. The clown Cuomo. You know what they did? Here's what they do. They just raise the tolls. Do you think the rich people care about the tolls went up? Do you think they? Oh, we're going to raise the gas taxes. We're going to raise your property taxes. We're going to raise your school taxes because we destroy the economy. We put millions of people out of work, close down businesses. So what they're going to do, Biden is just BS. All they have to do is do the billionaires, the hedge funds, the private equity groups. When I was a young guy, there was no such thing as private equity groups, hedge funds, and they're buying up everything. Look at the merger and acquisition activity going on. All the smalls are going out of business. The bigs are getting bigger. They got $4 trillion richer during the COVID war. You, you've said, um, Gerald, I've read your, your, your recent articles that this is really a case of blue states underperforming um, the red states and hence the drive, the real drive to raise big taxes. Yeah, they, 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 look, look what's going on in the big cities. Look what's going on in, in New York City. Look what's going on in, Los, in, in, in San Francisco. Look what's going on in Boston, in Chicago. What do you have? An office occupancy rate of um, 14% in New York City. All the businesses that depended on commuters, gone. There's no, no tourism. Tax, where's, where's the money coming in? The hospitality sector did. Hey, remember they used to have a thing they don't talk about anymore called conventions and trade shows. So do you do you not think this will all come back, Gerald? Let's talk no. about the economic recovery then. How does it No, there's going to be a boom. There's going to be the Biden boom. They're right. shoveling. We're yeah. seeing with the jobs numbers reflected in the job. Of course, this will happen right after a pandemic. Exactly. Exactly. It's they're, they're injecting monetary methadone into the system. Right. The twenty-eight trillion dollars worth of debt. And what do they say? Well, we're not worried about it because the interest rates are so low. I'm not making that up. That's what Yellen said, and that's what Powell said. So, yeah, so we don't have to. Well, what's going to happen when interest rates go up? What's going to happen when inflation? Oh, inflation's not going to. Oh, no. Oh, you know, they don't count. You know, I'm in Kingston, New York. According to Bloomberg, the prices of the houses went up here the highest in the nation 18.1%. Do you know the raising prices of housing? doesn't go into the inflation index. And so do a lot of, not a lot of other things. Right. So real inflation is going way up. When they raise interest rates, this thing is going to crash. They're giving the money junkies this money for free so they can keep gambling, artificially boosting up the markets. How could the markets go up throughout all of 2020 when, when the nation's locked down? And now they're scaring everybody again. A new variant is going to be worse than the one. And right. go on. People are still freaked out. 
So no, I don't see it. Com- it's going to be a big bounce and, and it's going to look like everything's coming back. But the millions of people that are out of work are not coming back. Right, right. It definitely, I mean, it definitely feels like that, right? Like when you speak to people, do you feel that there is optimism in the air, but it's just a fake optimism? Yes. When interest rates go up, this thing's going to collapse and they're going to have to raise interest rates. The central bank, the central banks are pulling out of dollars all over the world. Don't believe me, but I'll read uh, Wall Street Journal, the Financial Times. I mean, I mean, I'm just telling you the facts. So the dollar is going to be under a lot of pressure. $28 trillion in debt. I mean, wait, 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 how are you going to pay for this? So, so let's tie it to Janet Yellen, who also earlier this week uh, was making a plea and a pitch, and it seems she was successful to G20 countries uh, to agree on a global corporate uh, tax rate to end what she calls a 30 year race to the bottom on corporate tax rates. Is just is this just a fundraising campaign to to pay for, you know, the, the trillions of dollars uh, of debt here? In the yes. Year? Right. Yes. And every and this is what everybody needs to understand. Anything that the central governments do, they're failures at everything. It's not like you got a bunch of bright people running your country. What do they do so intelligently? Tell me. So you got a bunch of losers in the show telling everybody what to do. And then you talk about Janet Yellen. Oh, America, the land of the free. Where did Janet Yellen come from? Oh, wasn't she the head of the uh, Federal Reserve? You mean you have the head of the Federal, and they're not as federal as Federal Express, as everybody knows, who listens to Stansberry. They're private banksters. Oh, and they're the, running the treasury right in front of your eyes? Right in front of your eyes? Well, Mario Draghi, he's now I know. the Prime Minister of Italy. So there you go. Yep. And- I know. So yes, it, that's what they're going to do. They're going to raise taxes to cover their failures. But the people that are going to pay the taxes are the non-essentials. The big ones, you know, like the apples and the mi- they're, they're, yeah, well, they, they're in Ireland, they're all over the world. They're beating the system a thousand different ways. It's, 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 it's prosecution to the fullest for we the people and a slap on the wrist for the other ones. Look what happens. Look at, look at the JP Morgan Chase gang. What did they get caught in 2020? Rigging the precious metals market, right? They, they're caught. They get a lousy $900 million fine. Right. They're they, rigging the they market. They it back in precious metals, precious metals sales, though. <laughs> yeah, right. Rigging the markets. Now, you get, you, you're driving, you 10 miles over the limit. Where were you? How many drinks did you have? Get on your head, repeat the alphabet backwards. It's prosecution to the fullest who we the people and the big ones get off. It's like George Carlin said, it's one big club and you ain't in it. So yeah, they're going to raise taxes and we're going to pay for them. The bigs aren't. They're essential. We're non-essential by their words and their deeds. I have to go there because I want to know more about it. I know it's going to be controversial, but you've spoken about how a vax war will unfold. What does that look like for you? What do you mean by that, Gerald? Well, the the vax war is that there are a lot of people that don't want this. You're going to see new movements going on around the world. Anti-vax, anti-tax, anti-immigration, and anti-establishment. You go look, again, what we do is we look at the current events following future trends. So the IMF comes out with a study and says how bad it's hitting emerging markets, right? Mm -hmm. The, The COVID lockdown. Okay, what does that mean? Oh, you think you have an immigration problem now over here south of the border? Oh, you think it's bad over there in in Europe as they're flooding out of Africa? So when you look at the consequences of the COVID war, you're going to see anti-immigration, anti-vax, anti-tax, and anti-establishment. There's going to be new movements. 